Thank you very much for coming. And I'm very excited to introduce our guest speaker, Professor Yukari Fujimoto today. Uh, she's, um, she's a prominent manga critic in Japan, and she has spent her sabbatical for two years in New York, first one year here at Columbia, and she is also um, will be um, a visiting scholar at, at NYU for the next academic year. Um, she has numerous articles, and she widely publishes on manga, especially girls' comics, and I sort of still remember when I was a graduate school in 1990s, like I really read her book about girls' comics, which was, I think, one of the very first um, uh, monographs on the subgenre of um, comics in Japan. So um, I'm very glad that she is here, and uh, she is here and agreed to give a talk on the nuclear disaster tsunami and manga. Uh, the representation of recent disasters in Japanese popular culture. And also, coincidentally, I'm very glad that um, this is um, event is taking place on March 11th, which is the day, actually, like um, the disaster um, really touched upon a numerous people um, in Tohoku area in Japan. So please welcome Professor Fujimoto. On March 11, 2011, Japanese experienced the great massive earthquake and tsunami, uh, which were then followed by nuclear accident. Uh, the psychological shock from these calamities was immense and was chronicled in various media, but there is a particularly diverse body of work de uh, dealing with 311 in manga form. We have a huge number of manga works on 311. I simply cannot introduce all of them here, so I have selected several distinctive titles with a special focus on those that deal with nuclear power and nuclear accidents. I'd like to start by making a few critical points about Japanese manga. First, the Japanese manga market is a five times larger than the American comic market. About 20 years ago, it was 20 times larger than the American comics market. So the social influence of Japanese manga is uh, arguably greater than the American uh, comic market. Uh, the style of Japanese, uh, second, the style of Japanese manga can be very subjective. That therefore makes it very appropriate medium uh, for describing personal experiences and social feelings to other persons. Third, after the disaster on March 11th, the positions of Japanese people uh, became even more divided than they already were. We have numerous social conflicts, especially on the attitudes to the nuclear disaster. We can find those conflicts depicted clearly in various works on manga. One of the distinctive uh, features of manga is the division between works aimed at men and those aimed at women. Even in regard to manga about 311, the stories drawn by men differ in tone and personality from those that were drawn by women. I will show you the women's work in red line in my PowerPoint so you can recognize them. And we also have many manga works that deal with the nuclear power generation and nuclear accident before the 311 disaster. I will introduce some of them today. There were actually quite a few manga about nuclear power published prior to the Fukushima accident. Impact. Uh, there were two titles in particular that ended up being on the internet right after 311, discussed for how prophetic they were. 
One is Ryoko Yamagishi's Fine Tone. This work talks about the danger posed by nuclear power plants and likened the situation the eponym is found in Greek mythology. It was drawn back in 1988, right after the Chernobyl and nuclear disaster, and has been available to read online for free since 3.11. The other is Jun Mihara's The Anomaly. Uh, that was published even earlier in 1982, after the Three Mile Island accident. One line, one line in particular has been much discussed. Even if an accident were to occur, the variation would likely be paid out from our taxes and added onto our electric, electricity bills. And in fact, this is what actually did take place in Japan. Another work that was drawn attention is Susumu Katsumata's Shinkaikyo. Katsumata actually has a graduate degree in nuclear physics. He is an expert in nuclear physics and nuclear power as well as a mangaka. This title was published back in 1984, over 30 years ago, yet was early set at Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Shinkaiyu depicts the daily lives of nuclear power plant workers over 30 years before the Fukushima accident. There is actually another title uh, that I will talk more about later, a bestseller called Ichiefu, that details the personal narratives of nuclear power plant workers after March 11. In particular, I'd like to draw your attention to how to sound of Gaiga Kanta Gaga Gaga, Gaga Gaga, uh, and is used to describe the sounds of radiation bombarding one's cells. Since the power plant's workspace is down below, it is now the deep sea fish world. Don't you think they look like in diving suits? In the lower left, in the lower left panel are those above the over, uh, above the observe the workers and monitors who are above the ocean surface. This is the word of a power company elite that manages the workers. There were young out there, and it is a bright, clean world. With that striking contrast between the two worlds, uh, this is an extremely high quality work. Uh, Shinkaiyo will soon be published in English. Uh, by a UK's breakdown place under the title Fukushima Devil Fish, anti nuclear manga in this summer. Uh, another story about nuclear power from before 3 11, uh, a 24,000 year waste trans chapter in volume 13. The plot set in Los Angeles. The vows of vent at the nuclear power plant failing like Fukushima with an explosion pending in three hours. If the explosion were to occur, the Santos would become a waste land for 25,000 years, the half-life of plutonium. That is why, go to the 13, a crack sniper is asked to shoot to hold into the bent pipe to enable venting. Tomonori in a ways Copelion is another title that dealing with the topic. It is set in doing post-nuclear accident 
accident Tokyo, bear self-defense force commander unit of girls, a processing resistance to radiation the Capellian are deployed on missions. The manga had been uh, running for several years since 2008. The anime adaptation had been scheduled to start broadcast in spring of 2011. When the uh, 3-11 nuclear accident occurred just prior to the release and it was put on indefinite hold. First expression, there are concerns online about whether the manga would be sus suspended as well. And here, uh, there are some Twitter posts from the series manga editor at Kaodansha. One expert, I don't believe the series will be ended. I shan't get, give up. And finally, two and a half years later, the anime began in Poe in 2013. The above works were all created prior to 311. Now, following 311, Sili Agalis, a full panel monitor in Asahi Daily newspaper, took up the topic of the disaster very early. Those pieces are included among collections of his short works in manga since that day. The first one, uh, which is on the cover, appeared March 14, only three days after the earthquake. In the, it depicts a family that is speechlessly staring at the television set. Back then, people all over the Japan were glued to their televisions, watching what was unfolding at the nuclear power plant that had lost power. Among them, a work titled A Seaside Village is particularly remarkable. After the nuclear accident, Rhetorical use becomes restricted, and Japan has ended up an impoverished country. The grandfather waxes on about the past, but the father remarks that was a fluence that was reached through overstretching. Then, in the next generation, when the children are born. The story ends with children flying through the sky over the vista of wind turbines generating power. It's amazing. Next, we have the famed Moto Hagio's Nanohana. It is a collection of her works, all dealing with the nuclear accident. But in the title piece, a girl in Fukushima connects in her dreams with a girl in Chernobyl, beer in field of rapeseed blossom. Rapeseed blossoms are said to absorb radioactive substances in the soil. So here it symbolizes a sadness and a little bit of hope. Madame Pluto, which features an anthropomorphized plutonium, is also quite remarkable. Plutonium is depicted as an intensively attractive woman who has a much, much longer lifespan than humankind. I have Siri Agari's manga since that day, and Hagi O's Nanohana has been the true most well-known and highly acclaimed post 311 works. Now, there were many various works that appeared in magazine as well. In Japan, manga are first pr printed chapter by chapter in manga magazines, so episodes appear as single chapters within the series. 
for example, in Albert Bicycle's shop, a 311 related story appears very early. Immediately after earthquake, uh, public transportation was shut down in the country area, so there were huge numbers of people who could not commute home that day. Some walk along distances, some find places to spend the night, and home improvement stores sold out of the cheap bicycles they kept in stock because it is a, a time of crisis, the staff tells customers at our bicycle shop, if you give us a deposit of $30 and your contact information, you can get even at the premium bicycle on trust credit. Miyoko Sanos, a paradise without you, is a popular series that been running for quite a while. The main character is a geophysics major at the university in Tohoku and is affected by the earthquake in Sendai. On the first page of the chapter, there is a message from the artist detailed March, 20, 20, uh, March 24. Alongside the main character, who is a direct victim of the earthquake, the circumstances of her friend in Tokyo are also depicted. This secondary friend character is editor Bart. She is pregnant. Armed reports of radioactive cesium detected in tap water as far as Tokyo. The narrative ends with a friend's determination that no matter what the risks, no matter how this world turns out, I'm having my baby. And I'll spend the rest of whatever life I've left raising this child. Uh, this appears in print immediately after the disaster, but it's really quite remarkable. The expense of uh, the extent of such a work with a clearly female gaze is a distinctive feature of Japanese manga. And we also have a number of charity books that have been published immediately after the album. This is due to quite a few manga artists being among the disaster victims. Plus, many popular mangaka have and continue to regularly visit and volunteer in affected area to this day. Here we have a Bokurano manga. This is an anthology of short works drawn by artists in a friendly competition with each other. The headline reads, Relief aid is lengthy battle. We shall show that manga is earnest. I feel it exemplifies the attitudes of mangaka towards post 311 disaster relief. In particular, uh, Tori Miki's Mighty Topio is only eight pages long, but it is masterpiece. It appropriately aimed for some physical's mighty atom, nuclear power, astro ball, and story about the uh, natural disasters and nuclear accident. At first, the title character Mighty Topio startles people uh, by how swiftly he clears away the debris from calamities and gained their gratitude. But then, when he answered, he is powered by nuclear energy, he is persecuted. The ends are being sent into a uh, clean up and they commission the nuclear power plant that caused the accident. The ending is price priceless, so I hope you uh, will be able to read it in the near future. 
This is Hiro's comeback. This, uh, this was a charity book where mangaka Fujihiko Hosono called upon colleagues to submit one shot and stories featuring their own heroes. Its first run of 100,000 copies sold at Runaway, so it was immediately reprinted and has contributed 400,000 million, uh, 400,000 dollars to affected areas. Next, Pub Story 311. This is an, another sto a short story, no fiction piece, resulting from direct direct interviews female manga con uh, conducted with the disaster victims in affected areas. Mummies were raised for publication of sequel via crowdfunding between the two volumes uh, donations to early areas affected by the disasters have reached close uh, $100,000. I will now introduce some documentary of journalist Wanker, starting with works by male artists. Even in regards to manga about 311, the stories drawn by men differ in tone and personality from those that were drawn by women. I feel that this, is, this has given rise to the immense diversity of work. I will first present to you Osamu, uh, you Osamu Yamamoto's Today is Also Beautiful Day. At, this, at the time of earthquake, Osamu Yamamoto was resting in Fukushima, which is also where the nuclear plant accident uh, takes a place. Could his pet dog losing his voice and suffering a nose grease as well as his wife feeling ill, be due to high radiation levels. He carefully details his wavering emotions upon measuring high radiation level along his home, whether to remain in Fukushima or evacuate, among with the situation in his surroundings. By the way, Yamamoto temporarily evacuated to, uh, to Tokyo for two years, but has since returned to Fukushima once we determined it to be safe. He anger towards the government and TEPCO is also expressed in an impressionable way. In another work by him called Sobamon, Yamamoto covers in details the efforts of Fukushima farmers to maximally reduce any radioactive contaminations of agricultural products. Also, Miso Suzuki's works is detailed documentary manga based on the results of his own investigations. It contains a uh, quite practical. For example, one chapter is titled the proper way to measure radiation. In response to comment, I'm worried. What do we do about our food? He offers separate standards of evaluation in three distinct categories. First, those who don't sweet the small stuff. Second, those who somewhat cautions, and those who want maximally lower risk. Koji Yoshimoto's Santetsu is another 311 documentary manga. You can see his work in our today's file. It depicts the story of Sanriku Railway from when its tracks were torn up by the earthquake and tsunami until a restor uh, uh, restoration was completed and service resumed. 
it shows how important rail transport is uh, to the Toho region. This close relationship between Tohoku and railway is also demonstrated in other works. Another highly discussed title is the one I mentioned earlier, Kazuo uh, Tatsu, uh, Tatsuta's HF, Fukushima Daiichi Nuclear Power Plant Workloads. It contains the personal narratives of mangaka who actually worked at Fukushima Daiichi after the accident in manga form and goes into much detail about the work that went up to restore other plants. The uh, writer was previously in almost unknown, uh, 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 previously almost unknown as a manga cop, but the first print sold 150,000 units, even followed by several more reprints. All, all of other works featured in this talk have sold at the very minimum several, ten, several tens of thousands of copies each. You can recognize how huge the Japanese manga market is. A unique title, Humoral Attitudes, The Day My Alma Mater Became a Mochon. It is a documentary manga based on the experience of dental hygiene students who recorded evidence and detailed of dental care in order to help identify remains of victims. It also features how they would fashion the head for headless bodies and otherwise bestows dignity upon the dead. Disaster victims were not just human, but included animals as well. For example, on the left is Teach Me Michael, a textbook for how to support feline disaster victims. The contents are not in manga form, but Makoto Kobayashi is worth my campaign and uh, through the cover and the illustrations. And uh, to your right is uh, Tohaku Resident Yokohano's The Spring of Beginnings. While fictions, it is based on the artist's carefully research of the pain and troubles experienced by dairy farmers in effective regions. In volume two of her work, Hano focuses on the troubles and damages caused by harmful rumors and misinformation. And also depicts the problem of people of, of uh, reacting about radiation. On the right is a page where the main character refutes with hard data someone who is commenting online that agricultural products from Fukushima are contaminated and will not be safe to eat for eternity. This work shows deep-rooted social conflict in Germany society after the nuclear accident. There is another work, one unusual title is mis Misinformation dis dis destroy Destroying Angels of Curie. Uh, uh, the, uh, 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 the plot, which is uh, cons uh, considered quite uh, controversial is about people who exaggerate the uh, dangers of radiation. And the two supergirls, the love Curie, who takes them, uh, them down decisively. In fact, in Japan, after the 311 disasters, there were two functions. Uh, some people insisting the government the government and TEPCO are hiding the true amount of radiation and damage. And others saying, 
overreacting breed discri discrimination against the affected areas. We must cope as calmly as possible. People asked each, each other, which side are you on? And sharp lines were drawn. I believe this antagonism is also what influenced the Oshibo controversy, uh, controversy that I will cover later. Now, uh, let's switch to non-fiction manga written for women. First, uh, we ha uh, on the left, we have uh, Niko Nikomu-san's Nagasare Ietate. This depicts the joy, anger, pathos, and humor she herself experienced from the moment when her house was swept away by the tsunami until it was rebuilt, including the going on, what kind on within her family. On the right is uh, Natsuo Motomachi's We Went About Evacuating Tokyo. The, this depicts the Tokyo resident he, uh, husband and wife mangaka's move to a uh, very rural area motivated by the dis dis disasters. The book starts with uh, a husband starting to say, to be honest, I'm scared to remain here in Tokyo. What, what is memorable here that, uh, in the afterwards, the editor mentioned that there are some people who say that it is ridiculous to move out of Tokyo because it's dangerous. But when serialization started, the editor repeatedly discussed with the artist. It's not that your decision is right or wrong. It's just one opinion. Let's be careful to send a message that what's the important for one to take ownership of whatever choice one makes. You may consider it obvious for Americans, but I think this is very valuable attitude to hear uh, when depicting the various choices people made after the disasters. A title I wanted to mention in particular is Kimidori's, Kimidori Inoue's Fukushima Note. Inoue lived in Sendai and was indeed a uh, disaster victim. Yet, yeah, this book doesn't cover his own experience, but it is journalistic manga that depicts a number of cases that she covers individually in details. In case you were not aware, one, one situation uh, could vary wildly, even within the Tohoku region and inside Fukushima, depending on the degree of one's radioactive contamination. For example, Fukushima is, divide, uh, Fukushima is divided up into three regions, but circumstances were completely different between Hamadori, uh, where Fukushima Daiichi is located, and Aizu, uh, which is the most island. This title makes that very clear. What is memorable is the tales of environmental activists who, upon re uh, realizing that Fukushima Dai is designed plants were very old and therefore posed a danger, decided to live right near it in order to watch over it. They managed to create fully self-sufficient green living spaces running completely of natural energy sources, but end up having the abandoned those houses following the accident. Afterwards, since they are able to produce their own electrical power, they go along to various affected area, affected community centers, where evaluation sites to make power for people. At first, they are welcome, but after a while, though they are trying to help start saying like that, 
Can you increase the amount of power available? I want to use my computer. I want to watch television too. I want to play video games until morning. Leading to the uh, realizing advocate, advocating natural energy will not work without the change in current consumption mentalities. It's very remarkable. You can recognize that women's manga magazine contains many works that get up close to and depict actually happening in people's lives. In Akita Shoten's Elegance in Magazines, a series called 311 Do Not Forget That Day started running in 2012. The chapters were later gathering in five volumes after the reasons where those stories took place. Took place. Uh, Reiko Momochi stays in 311 Girls' School Students' Choice is two volume fiction series based on actual news, uh, new reports, news reports and research. It depicts the problems and the discrimination faced by a girl's high school students from Fukushima being shunned and felt that they will not be able to get married or may not be able to have children. Thus, Story in the women's magazine, story, uh, stories are more about life choices and heartfelt had person or individual thoughts, while men's magazine deal with general, more global topics such as energy source issues. As I just mentioned, many of the stories in men's magazines, even in fiction, involve social or political themes such as energy policy. For example, Bo Ichi, The Hunt for Energy, is the story of main character who can see energy flows de uh, determining the possibilities and problems with uh, alternative energy sources. And uh, Stone Takahashi's Hito Hitori Futari, uh, no, uh, Hito Hitori Futari uh, is a tale about the Prime Minister who days a, a number uh, gambling the rest of his remaining life to eliminating nuclear power and and comes up with a, prime, a former prime minister who looks just like uh, actually former prime minister Koizumi. And there are many mentions of, and of chapters about the disasters in men's magazine series, which are not 311 themes. One unique story is Black Sweet Swindles. It includes disaster relief scams that actually occurred after 311. There are many other long running manga uh, that briefly mention 311 within one chapter of a volume. There are also many food manga that mention or involve 311 as well. In the most famous food manga series, Oishimbo, controversially erupted over the truth about Fukushima arc when the main character developed uh, nose bleeds after visiting Fukushima Daiichi post accident. In implication in the story of Fukushima is People should not live there, led too much discussion and heated debate two years ago. Even Prime Minister Abe views it as a problem, or Shinbo becomes an object of pu public concern. They blame Oshimbo for spread mis 
misinformation of Fukushima through television show and the newspapers. On the other hand, in Osamu Yamamoto's Subamon, Yamamoto carefully details how the agricultural products of Fukushima are now safe as a result of the various efforts by farmers. Since these chapters appear along the same time as a problematic or simple story, the two were much compared and commented upon. However, even in Oshibo, there have been no earlier pieces uh, depicting a farmer and almost exactly like Sobamon, it was uh, studied that Fukushima's agricultural products are safe. So, it is puzzled how much different assessment uh, came about in later episode. My uh, in uh, in that way, uh, in that way, I think the Oshinbo demonstrate uh, how a writer of an uh, artist must community uh, prepare themselves for uh, depicting the uh, three elements. Uh, lastly, I'd like to introduce two titles created by two talented young artists in just the past year or so. Uh, Inio Asano's uh, manga starts with a flying uh, a saucer carrying alien that suddenly appear one day and then remains hovering over Tokyo. It depicts how Every day, a lot carries on uh, despite the pressure of occasionally battles with these uh, with aliens. And uh, the intro of Tomoko Yamashita's manga uh, reads as such: Our city was caught in development accident for certain shelter technology, and we ended up quarantined from the outside world. It is city destined to perish, yet we continue to live our lives as usual. I feel that this uh, accurately describes current life in Japan, how even after something so terrible happens, life keeps magic on. I realized that uh, this was a really quick gen general overview, but I will be happy if I was able to get across uh, you, even briefly, what sorts of problems and issues Japan is facing and how 311 has been depicted in manga. Thank you. So.